Have you got an undulating backyard? You've got an area that you can't quite use, or you just want to pick a spot and put a beautiful feature into it? Well, it is time to build a bridge and get over it. And that's exactly what we're doing. Bridge Building 101. The reason this is so easy is because it's just a couple of beams. You've got decking boards to walk on, a couple of handrails to hold on to, and you're away. First job is to grab some conduit. This is flexy and it'll give you bridge its shape. I'm going to put that down on the beam, put a screw in either end of the beam, and then just push the middle of the conduit up. Trace a line onto there, and I've got a perfect curve. To cut the curve, I'm using a circular saw. Seems kind of crazy, but what I'm doing is cutting a series of straight cuts, gradually touching the line each time until I've taken most of the timber off. Now to turn this from a curved plank on the ground into a bridge arch, I'm going to cut the curve out of the underside as well. But because that's an internal corner, I can't use the circular saw. What I can do is use a jigsaw. But this is a thick section of timber, so make sure you go slowly with that jigsaw or else you're going to bust the blade. Your bridge has two beams, of course. So I want both beams to be exactly the same. To do that, I'll just trace one onto the other. Now for a little bit of fine tuning with the planer. The other part of this bridge that is out of treated pine are the handrail posts. Now I'm going to take these treated pine elements and paint them white. While that's drying, I can cut the slats. For the slats, I'm using hardwood. Merbau to be exact. Now, what I want to show you is the thickness. These are 25mm thick. Now, your normal decking board is only 20 and it'll only span 450mm without starting to bounce. These guys are spanning over 600, so that extra thickness is required. It is important not to forget to think about your handrail posts. So I'm attaching these to the beams with batten screws. Now, if that goes there, the floorboard's going to get in the way. So I've just taken a simple little check out that lets it house around nicely. Don't be tempted to use a level here to get this post plumb. You see, if your bench is a little bit out, then your post is going to be as well. So what you want to do is grab a square. As long as the bench is flat, then this post will always be square off your bridge. Time for the handrails. Hardwood to match the deck. Now, to give this little bridge a bit of personality, what do you reckon? Japanese style, I say. Well, I'm pretty happy with this one. A very simple, very good looking bridge in five easy steps. One, two, make that three. And how good does that look with a couple of coats of finish on it?